flowers, fumes, coffee. For most of us, smells are simply part of everyday life. Not for Joy Mill. Oh, thank you. This grandmother from Scotland has such a sensitive nose, she can smell disease. An incredible ability, verified and published in scientific journals, where she's known as the super smeller. It's somewhere between a dog and a human. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I take that as a compliment. Joy, a nurse, says she's always smelled changes in her patients, but it was a change in her husband, Les, a doctor, that would alter both of their lives. He was only 31, just going on 32, it was that summer. Les didn't smell like himself, and the odour wouldn't go away. I thought, well, I'm not going to nag about this. More than a decade later, at 45, Les was diagnosed with Parkinson's. The disease actor Michael J. Fox has battled for years. Muhammad Ali had it too. It causes tremors and eventually dementia. At Les's very first support group meeting, Joy's nose was overwhelmed. I said, look, everybody else in that room with Parkinson's has the same smell as you. And he just went, what? What on earth are you talking about? University of Manchester biotechnology professor Perdita Barron was skeptical. So she and a team of researchers tested Joy, not with high-tech machines, but T-shirts. Well, we got some people with Parkinson's, six people, and six people who didn't have Parkinson's, and we bought them identical T-shirts and they wore them overnight. They gave the shirts to Joy and she sniffed out all of the Parkinson's patients, plus one T-shirt in the control group. Nine months later, that person was told he had Parkinson's. That was really transformative. No, some other person had it before, before they were clinically diagnosed. Once symptoms like tremors start, the damage to the brain is already irreversible. Joy could be the key to catching it early. So what does Parkinson's smell like? It's a very musky, thick, greasy odor. It's not pleasant. But a lot of scents make her smile. She tried to teach me how to really stop and smell the flowers. I can definitely smell the floral on the blossom. Never just smell once, because smells are not one smell. So now you're smelling... The chlorophyll, the basic molecules. Molecule. Of, yes. She smells molecules from people, too. That's the cardboard smell. With Joy's help, researchers pinpointed the Parkinson's smell to sebum, the oily substance in the skin, and identified molecules specific to the disease. The result, a groundbreaking new test. We can tell within about half an hour from a patient sample, just to swab whether someone has Parkinson's or not. That test is still in early trials, but if it works, it could save countless families from the pain Joy and Les went through. He died four years ago. What do you think he could, oh, um, would think about what's happening? I now? keep on saying to people who um, ask me that, it's the tearjerker. <laughs> no, um, he would be just over the moon. An extraordinary ability that one day might lead to a cure.